Hello everyone, good evening. Welcome to our poetry reading series here at Arts in Me, formerly Daily Life in COVID-19 group. So, um, while waiting for the others, uh, okay. I just have to set something. So we are going to wait for the others to join us in this live. And yes. Okay. Welcome to our poetry reading series here at Arts in Me. And um, this community aims to bring the migrant community together and it is um it is an online bond we, we've started with online bonding through um fr through literature and we are very happy that we've gone this far and we um the migrant writers of singapore founded the group last april april 2020 and this january We've changed the name of the group from Daily Life in COVID-19 to Arts in Me. So, because we believe that um, moving forward, things will be getting better. And yes, we just need to be positive. And um, Arts in Me uh, aims to bring the migrant community to together through literature and arts. Wherever you are, Wherever you are, around the around the globe, come and join us, and let's have a bonding through literature. And we have different activities in our group. First is the um, write, recite, and record series that we are doing every Monday, and we are um, asking the members to post their own uh, video recital, reciting their own written poems, and yes. They are encouraged to post it every Monday. And for Wednesday, we have a weekly prompt. And, okay. So I just perceive. Uh, okay. Can everyone see me? So, I just received a message that you cannot see me on the screen. So, if you cannot see me, please, um, okay. So, hello everyone. Can you see me now? <laughs> I'm very sorry for that um, network interruption. And thank you so much, Julie, for informing me. <laughs> yeah, because as what I can see on my screen, I'm still moving. I'm not aware that I'm not, um, I'm frozen on your screen. So, okay, I'll go back to what I'm saying just now, for Monday, um, we are doing a write, recite, and record series. And we are asking the members to um, post their video recitals every Monday. Can you see me now? Okay, thank you so much. Okay, and then um, we also have a, a Wednesday, a, a weekly prompt. 
Okay, thank you so much, Julie. Thank you so much. We also have the weekly prompt, and um, every Wednesday um, we are posting a guide for you to write. We encourage you to write write a poem or anything out of that specific specific topic that we uh we that we are giving in we are posting. So you have a week to. Okay, thank you. We have a week. To, to write something out of that uh, specific topic. And last Wednesday, I think um, it was posted already and it is all about um, how did you celebrate your new year. So you have until Tuesday to post all those um, those uh, written uh, written stories or poems all about how you spent your, your new year. And yes, please, um, please join and please participate. And that's every Wednesday. So, and every Thursday, we are having the Poets Collaboration, which um, Julie, our moderator, Julie is doing. And she is asking um, she is asking some poets for their written poems. And she's going to give it to other, other writers, other, other members of this community for them to, to recite. And that's collaboration. That's really a beautiful idea from Julie. And thank you so much. And every Friday we also have this um, sketch challenge, oh, but now we change it to Friday challenge because we are also using some some arts from our talented migrants, and we thank you so much because um, they've been uh, providing their their artworks for us. And if you also have some artworks with you, you can you can uh, share it with us, and we will be very happy to feature feature them in our group and invite the writers to write something out of it and yes that's um and then we also have this uh, photo challenge that nice is giving we are have we have um every month theme and for this month uh, i think she's still preparing it and wait for the photos and wait for the announcement to be posted and of course not forgetting the daily motivation that um uh, sis mary grace is doing and she's been doing it ever since she became a moderator and not only here at Arts in Me, she's also posting it in other communities and it's been a very, very helpful for us. It, it really gives a positive impact for, every, for for those who read it and I hope that you also take your time to read all those, um, all those posts that Mary Grace is giving because they are really, really, some, they are really inspirational and they have uh, you can learn a lot of lessons from there and that's all for our um arts in me activities and now i am going to introduce to you our guest for tonight and yes our guest for this week is from isabella philippines yeah it's just nearby my province and she is happily married with a teenage daughter and son she has been working in Hong Kong since July 2010. She is a team leader in a nonprofit organization called Uplifters, and she is one of the Cinderella's Angels, a group of women sharing and learning poetry together with the help of two wonderful women. And her poems, Paraiso and Mahalin ng Ating Kalikasan, are included in the issue 5 of the Tiger Moth Echo Journal, which just came out. Um, I think this week, yes, and I am very happy to bring on the screen um, our special guest tonight, Eileen May Ramos. Hello, Eileen. How are Hello, you? Hello, Jane. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Arts in Me. I'm freezing here. It looks, it looks <laughs> like freezing cold there. Yes. So, how is your day? How are you? Uh, today is quite busy because my employer went out, go somewhere else, but uh, I can manage to do things right. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, and thank you so much for being with us here tonight. And I, for you, I have some comments for you here that I hope to be able to um 
So uh, okay. <laughs> I can <laughs> Why? Right. It's very really hard. Wow. Do you know who is the commentator? It's my hubby, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They are watching because they said they will fall asleep already. Uh, they say good night around 6.30. Oh. And now he's here. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> And we have another one here. Maybe oh, maybe daughter. that's my girl. Oh. I love you, Bebe. <laughs> Thank you okay. for being here. The, um, I, I will just uh, remind everyone, for those of you who are watching right now, please click the link that Trinia had posted for me on the caption so that I will be able to read your names on the comments. So if you are not going to follow that, Your name will appear as Facebook user. So, okay. You've been in Hong Kong since 2010. So, how was the first year working there in Hong Kong? How was your first uh, year? My first year, I, I, I moved to the, fa- the first family I worked in. She is still, my mom is still pregnant. Uh, and then after a month, she gets b- gave birth to a little girl, and I take care of the little girl for six years, and with her brother. And in my one year experience with them, it's very hard. It's very tough because of all of us can feel it homesickness. But I try to overcome that homesickness for my kids, for my own kids, to give them a better future, to provide their everyday needs. And here I am, 11 years in Hong Kong, is still <laughs> here. That's quite a long time. How long do you want to work there? I mean, do you have any plans or how long you want to stay in there more? For now, I still have no time to go back home because I still have a lot of obligations to do and my goals still have a long way. <laughs> Hopefully long five way. or, yeah, five years or more. Yeah, to be honest, I have no plan to go back this time. Okay, understand. And okay, um, since you've been very active in sharing your poems and your um, writings, um, may I just ask if when did you start? Uh, when did you start writing poems? Actually, I'm not writing poems. Honestly, no. <laughs> I just um. I just write something my everyday I call it diary since I am since I was just in I started I think in high school and in my high school life we have that uh, in English subject we have the storytelling like that we have some kind of drama and I try to write a short story And my teacher gave me a high grade. <laughs> Thank you, oh. mom. <laughs> and but that's, I think that's all. And when I'm in college, in my speech subject, I try to, I try to, how uh, to develop my kind of speaking in on my college days and. Just now here, when I'm in Uplifters last May, mm-hmm. I see, I read your your home, your written composition posted in oh. Uplifters. Yes, and then when, my home. yes, I read that mm-hmm. one and I keep on following you and also T.L. Nelly. I when I first watched T.L. Nelly on live broadcast, she re- she. She recite a poem, motivational like that, and I keep on following you both. Then I found this uh, poetry community. Then I joined, and here I am. 
keep on fa- I still keep on following you. <laughs> so, okay, okay. Um I mean so you just um you just started writing poems last year. So yes, um uh, specifically around June, I think. And my first my first written composition posted in Daily Life before the name was Daily Life. Do you still Life. remember that? Do you still remember the title of your first ever written poem? The the Beyond the Sunset for the cha- oh. photo challenge photo challenge posted by your by our moderator Nancy, our dearest oh. Nancy. Yes. Yeah. Wow. That's an honor. It's an honor that um that you began with that uh with that uh, because of that photo challenge and yeah, yeah I can see that um you 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 are constantly improving and really you are it's really <laughs> it's like I've seen your journey from 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 the start that I've known you in this community and you're amazing. You are saying Thank that I'm amazing, but you are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Here. But so, my okay. hand is in my pocket because I'm fr- still freezing. <laughs> Luckily, there's no there's no winter in Singapore. <laughs> I'm I can stand too cold. So okay, um, I bet you prepared something for us or wrote a poem for us tonight. So it's time for you to share share your poem with us, your first poem since you prepared to write. <laughs> yes. So, okay. okay. I'm going to give you this um the stage to to read your your poem and yes. You can read it now. Okay. Um a mother. As a mother I have loved you right from the start. I give you comfort and peace like a beautiful dove. I have fulfilled every woman's desires, carrying an angel's life to be an extraordinary woman, to be called a mother. It brings me pride and joy. Your achievements touches me and thrills me like no one else can. You give my eyes tears and make my heart break at times, but it doesn't make me feel less. As a mother, it's not always been easy. I've done things that have hurt, frightened, and confused you. No one's ever made me as satisfied as you by being happy. No one's made me as proud as you by living up to your love and dedication. No one's smiles has ever warmed my heart as your smile does. No one's laughter fills my heart with delight as instantly as your laughter can. No one's hugs feel as sweet as your hugs do. No one's dreams mean as much to me as your dreams do. You are a part of me, my life, my everything. And no matter what happened in the past, or what maybe the future holds, I will always accept you. I will always forgive you. I will always appreciate you. I will always adore you. I will always love you unconditionally. As a mother, life's great, I have been given life's greatest gift, a gift as precious as a gem, a gift that will forever be loved and treasured my children's life the reason why i'm still alive thank you that's so that's so touching and what were you thinking while you were writing the poem my two kids honestly this is I always remember them. They are the reason why I'm I'm here. They are always my top priority and they are my strength. Whatever happens, yes, whatever happened to me, 
I will always prioritize them. How a real mother is, and yeah, I uh, one one line that really um that really stayed in my mind was uh, that I will always forgive you. And yeah, being a parent, being a mother, we always have this um we always have this. Soft, <laughs> soft side of us that whatever yeah. our kids have done, whatever our children have done, we always yeah. find um, yes. we always yeah. find a uh, way to forgive them. Yes, and yeah, we are receiving some comments in here. Okay, I'm going to feature some of the. Comments about your poem. Wow, what a beautiful poem! Cause that the love of a mother is unconditional, even can see by nakedness. Nakedness. Naked eye. Okay, that's from Julie. And from LG. Love it, Eileen. And from Mida. They are all Thank here you, watching. Thank you. And this is from Lisel, a loving mother. Yes, you are. And you too, Lisel. You are a loving mother. We are and all loving mothers. Mother. Yes, another mother is here. Yes. And yes. that is my Ate. Thank you for helping me for this piece. I owe it to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is from Divina. Oh, okay. So yeah, we've got a comment here. So okay, for everyone, I am encouraging you to please post your question to our to our guest. And yeah, I think she's on the go. She's um she's very ready for all your questions. So <laughs> <laughs> please help me to spin her head. <laughs> And okay, so I have one more question here. I have another question here. <clears throat> and since you've included in your bio that you are a you are a team leader in a sisters nonprofit organization, educating, uh, empowering women through financial and emotional um uh, learnings. So, for you as a leader. What characteristics that a good leader should possess to be called an effective leader? In my own experience, uh, in my own knowledge, being a good leader is someone who who knows how to listen to other people. Uh, uh, more on listening and then adapt something and before you express your your how to say that because be, before you express your your own <laughs> before you express your some own ideas to the people you have to understand and analyze the situation don't just uh jump to the conclusion you have to be careful on on listening to others' problem, others' explanation before giving some ideas. And yes, that's it. And you need to always, yeah. And you need to always do the right thing and ex and and let them. You lead them and let them follow you. Don't. Tell them exactly what they need to do. You let them do the things they want and guide them. Guide them if they are doing something wrong. You have to to help them, guide them to do to do things right, to do to make it into the right thing. In my own idea. Thank you. Lead by example. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing those words with us. And yeah, I truly agree with you that you cannot, you cannot, um, as a leader, you cannot dictate 
you cannot dictate people what they should do or what they need to do. And <laughs> I read the comment that made me laugh. Okay. I'll show it later. Okay, yeah. About being a leader. And yes, I've seen how, how dedicated, how passionate you are as a leader in your pictures. And I congratulate you for that. And you are doing great. And continue and live what you promote. <laughs> live what you preach, as Julie said. Okay. Yes. So, before we go to a question, because we got a question here. We need to, uh, we, we will. This is from Joraline. Nice to see you both amazing angels on screen. I'm still outside. I will just watch later. Lots of love. Thank you. And please take care, Joraline. See you tomorrow. Okay. This is the one that made me, that made me laugh. Mm -hmm. Okay. The strength. Okay. Can you read it? Please. <laughs> the strength of a mother can be seen through her heart the love of a mother can be seen on her children unconditionally so <laughs> principal who's the principal ate hello ate Relinda. thank you for watching <laughs> thank you thank okay. you this is from julie Back up from the topic about being a leader. So, okay, yeah, I have a very long poem here. Uh, poem, not poem, a <laughs> comment. So, okay, I'm so sorry that we cannot um, read your name. That's really a great poem. No matter what happened, a mother is a mother. According to the one of my professor in literature, I remember he said that the most beautiful word in the world is mother. That time I can't understand what he means, but when I become a mother, I completely understand what mother words is. Thank you, TC, for such a wonderful poem. And yeah, I have an idea with the CC. I think it is Elsie. Hello, Tita. Uh, she's Elsie, but I'm not sure. But she's <laughs> only the one who called me CC. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry that you get. So, what you can do is um, it's either you follow the link. In the caption or after your comment you can write your name okay <clears throat> so please post your questions so we have um we have one here it's from pl nelly this nelly <laughs> okay so okay are you ready brace yourself okay how did writing help you despite your work? What is your motivation to keep going? How did writing help you? Maybe despite of your despite of your work, despite of your busy schedules, despite of your busy days, how did writing help you? You answer that one first <laughs> before we proceed to the next. Okay. How did writing help me despite of my work? Uh, in writing, I can... I can express my own emotion. If you, if you remember my written composition way back last year, I keep on writing about uh, some emotional about a friend, and my feelings about my friend is I am really in deep emotion by that time, and I instead of fighting or talking behind her back to other to some of our friends i choose to write take up a, a pen and since i know you all i read all your writings and i try my best to do the same thing i try if good or bad things i keep on writing on my notes and then when i have my free time i always have my free time because <laughs> <laughs> because I honestly I'm not taking care of the kids because they doesn't like me my, my their mother always with them and when I am in my room I try to compose it make it into some kind of quotes quotations I always share in 
uplifters when I am free. And sometimes I can compose a poem and share it in the community. And what is your motivation to keep going? I want to change my personality because from being so negative in the past, I try to connect with you all because of you, your positive thinking. And I, I can see myself in a positive way now, not thinking negativity to others, not doing some kind of bad things. And I'm happy. I'm happy for where I, where I am and who I am right now. Thank you, T.L. Nelly. You're one of my... <laughs> that's, that's very good to know that um, writing helped you a lot um, during those times that you are going through something. And um, I'm very happy that um, whatever happened with, with, uh, with, with your friend, <laughs> with your friend and with you, and you are still here and you are able to back yourself up even though how, how hurtful it was for you and you've turned things um you've turned those negativities into positive things which you are now um which we really can see it for you now and i mm -hmm. hope that you continue that because um there's really nothing negativities can do you know there's not no good thing that uh, negativities yeah. can bring in your life it will just destroy you it will just um distract you so and there's no point really to help, help. Yes. Yes, yes so it's good that you 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 were able to um to see the see the brighter side of everything Okay, do we have any more questions in here? Okay. So questions are are coming in. Oh, oh I thought yeah, they are. <laughs> no, <laughs> never You're think. Sleeping. Never think of that. <laughs> They're not sleeping at all. <laughs> They're all eyes watching on you. Yeah, that is Elsie. The long comment was from Ate Elsie. And yeah, thank yeah. you so much, uh, it's Elsie. Thank you for being with us here tonight. So, okay, we have one here from Mami Rema. Oh, yeah, okay. From Miss Rema. Miss. <laughs> How do I you read handle it. your uh, critics? Yeah, yeah. How do I handle my critics? Smiling and ignoring. <laughs> <laughs> just like what I said just now, before I am so full of emotions and full of negativities, when I I get hurt when someone says something to me, most my previous or most of my previous friends knows that when someone says something behind me, I immediately talk to her. I immediately <laughs> go to her and talk to her and why, why, why? Keep on asking why. But now, since I am, honestly, last May, since I am in Uplifters, beginning my Dare to Dream class with the El Herlin, I've changed. <laughs> I've really changed with all those sharings in our class chat. It really helps me. And from that time from that moment and of course first Lizelle, Lizelle always encouraged me to forget those <laughs> because she knows my story yes. and she always encouraged me to be better and yes that's how I handle my critics now just smile and ignore I don't want to stop on it just like what you said I don't want to stop on it I need to keep moving forward thank you Missy Rema all right, that's all about critics. So, how yes. about those um those people that give feedback to you about your about your certain works like that? How do you how do you um accept those um corrections or criticisms um regarding oh. your written written compositions or written um 
whatever poems or stories? I accept uh, criticisms, co criticisms, corrections, but there's a but because uh, if I can, it's a ate. Ate corrected me. <laughs> this is the true, true story. Last week, our what is our topic last week? Personification. My two mm -hmm. poems. Uh, my two poem. Uh, ate. Our two ate asked me to rewrite, but honestly, I have no time, and I have a lot of things in my mind, and I accept. I always accept some criticisms and corrections but like what I said if I am busy I have no time to correct it but soon now if I am free then I will go back and correct it and then I will let them see my uh, my my changes <laughs> yes yeah. Yeah. It is acceptance strong. of course yeah yeah it really helps also it do it really helps that um, how how you see those feedbacks and people always uh, will always have their um opinions and um different uh different uh, ideas about about mm -hmm. certain things but you have to be open minded we have to be open minded and sometimes it helps also for us to improve and yes it's all about your mind mindset also your acceptance about all those criticisms and okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, we have one more here. We have another question here. What one word that you would want to describe yourself? Oh. Eileen May is authentic. Authentic. Okay. Yes. That explains everything. Yes. I am different. <laughs> <laughs> And there's nothing follow follow up question. Just just one word. Thank you, Atenemi. <laughs> we slept late <laughs> last night. We we, we finalize this piece. And thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> it's from LJ. I'm happy for you. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you think there's no follow up question? So okay, there is. <laughs> <laughs> So fast, you're not busy now. No, <laughs> maybe she just missed the why. So okay. she quickly, why? um, yes, just now in my other workshop, I explained this one. I didn't know A is for authentic because I am different, I am not perfect. I am not perfect, I have a lot of imperfection, but in my own way, I can. I am authentic to other people. That's all. That's all I can say also for them. <laughs> Thank you. All right. It's very important to be true, to be true to yourself, to be genuine. And because for me also, it's like being, um, taking things is the, one of the things that really, really hard to maintain, you know. <laughs> Yeah, it will always come out in in unguarded moments. Don't live with oh. full lies. Okay. That's how I one. <laughs> okay. Hi, Ate. How can you manage your time between between your work, writing, and being a leader? Thank you. So she's not really busy. I don't want to say that because I'm afraid my mom is here. She's doing laundry. I'm not sure if she can hear me or not. But yes, like what I said, I always find a way to have my time to, to, to do things every day. And of course, she knows it. She, she knows everything I'm doing. She support me especially on Sundays I have no day off but she allows me to do my some workshops and they are very supportive wow that's very great and that's very good to know that 
you are supported by your employers with what you are doing. And it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay, are you ready for the next question? And I think we are flooded with questions. Okay. <laughs> Would you mind to read them? What is, what is your hopes and dreams specifically on writing? In the beginning, nothing. To be honest, nothing. I just want to express my feelings, my emotions. I am not, I always say before, I am not aiming for anything. I'm not, not just nothing, just express my feelings. But when the time comes, I was really, last September, when you sent me the, the poster of Tiger Mall. You remember that time? <laughs> Yes, and I just try because I am in my deep emotion also by that time. And I think that is the way for you to cheer me. And I try to write and send to and send them. And I am very grateful to be added with the, uh, this issue number five of Tiger Moth. And I began to I began to think that I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really can <laughs> because I don't know I'm not expecting before I just write and, and that is sleepless night I just write and express my emotion and just like what I said I just make quento about my, about the nature in yes. our place and my emotion and yes after that after receiving their feedback after receiving their email, the response, and wow, <laughs> my two poems accepted, and it made me realize that maybe I can do better in the future. And yes, I hope so. <laughs> Thank you, Ate. <laughs> and yeah, that really that tiger moth is a it's a one funny story because. Yeah, I was scanning. I was scanning Facebook, and then I don't know who who shared that on one of the group chat. And I suddenly remember. I say I didn't submit mine too. I I actually didn't submit yet. So I just went through some of my old poems that can match that uh, that theme, the theme of the of the tiger mode. And then I suddenly remember you and and Nemi. So like, it's it was really really like one day. One day before the deadline, <laughs> no, I apologize for that because I think when we were uh, we sh- when that that was shared before, but you weren't in daily life yet, so it was uh, it was a long long time post. Mm, maybe yeah. yeah. So I think it was posted maybe eight months ago. So. <clears throat> You are you are included there, and I'm really very happy for you. And yes, we are going to proceed. Yeah, we are going to proceed to your second poem. Second poem. Is, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> because my hands is on my back. You're so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> so cold. It's not that uh, before I feel nervous. You know, the first time you bring me online, on live, but the here is different. It's freezing. <laughs> okay, so let's go to your second poem. Okay. This poem is uh, included in the Tiger Moth issue number, issue number five, Paradise. I dream of being in a beautiful paradise. I wanted to know what it feels like to leave all you love behind. So I closed my eyes and started to see just how beautiful paradise can be. I saw a calm and peaceful sea, a beautiful sunrise and a glorious sunset. I wish to have a memorable walk by the seaside. In the sea, you find true beauty. 
where worlds hide in the deep, in the sea, you find mystery where things live, die, and sleep. In this beautiful paradise, I forgot my problems in life. In this beautiful paradise, I feel a strange pleasure. The rhythm of your gentle waves, your natural beauty, your unique personality. See, you are massive, stretching in a large direction. Your soft waves are relaxing music. Your blue horizons meets the sky. The ant cannot be seen. Your salty fragrance fills the air and floats upon the breeze. See, you are a lovely gift, the creator's masterpiece, a great miracle to behold, giving me reason to believe. Thank you, Jane. Thank you so much for that. I'm curious about the Tagalog of that paradise. Do you have it with you or do you have the copy with you or not? It's okay, it's okay if it's not there. No, because I'm using <laughs> other phones. No, it's okay. in, still ongoing. Yeah. It's all right. I'm just, uh, I was just curious about the Tagalog version. So, okay. Uh, maybe you can read it. I send it to you. <laughs> 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 yeah, because okay. I cannot use my phone. It's all right. It's all right. So, um, while you were reading the poem, I feel like I went back to my own hometown. <laughs> I really feel like I was in my own hometown, but we don't have sea there. <laughs> yes, and this one yes. also featured in by Nicey. All uh, <laughs> photo challenge. Photo challenge. Oh, okay. Yeah, I write it here that date, but I I cannot find it. Wow! Really so how many how many poems? How many in uh how many poems in uh total you have written? I write because you said it's five, so I write five. But this one is uh. I only no, I mean. I mean, how many poems you've written? I mean, not for the Tiger In Moth. But, uh, uh, yes. Sorry, I don't know, but mm, you can see in my other Facebook account and file in them. But I, I'm not, I'm not counting them. I just keep on filing you, on my Facebook. Where do you, where do you, where do you save your your poems? I I have my personal uh, page also. Called the uh, Life Diary Five Eleven, and there it's all there. And I do you not... write it in notebook? Do you also I write have... it in notebook? I write it, but I just write the one one month, first month, July, and I still not continue. I yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, all all of them have their have a date and mm -hmm. for compilation also for my kids or my grandkids to be read in the future, yes. Me too. I was trying to write it in notebook because I always type it on the note on my phone, but sometimes like, oh, oh this one. It's last August 5. It's the your uh, daily life in COVID-19 photo challenge about nature. You oh. remember Yes, this is okay. okay. Really, yeah, I, I, I send it to Nicey. Wow, thank you so much. And we have a comment here from Nels. Proud of you, dear, and thanks for answering the question. Always find ways to think positively. Okay. We have a question here from Ms. Rema Tabangkura. Who inspires you the most in writing and where do you get your ideas? Okay, can we stay there on the question first um, before proceeding? Who inspires you the most in writing and where do you get your ideas? Myself. Myself, in, I, I myself is my inspiration in writing. And of course, if, if it's about family, I always think of my kids because I, I always 
uh, write some uh, some ideas about my kids and actually it's all more on my life more on my life story that's why that's why I called it a life diary because all my all the happenings in my life good or bad I just keep on writing it and compose it and where do you get that the your ideas are uh, by reading it online or in a book and of course google <laughs> google helped me a lot <laughs> so if i especially when we is we have our daily prompt in daily life before and of course i am not i am not perfect writer also i am not good i just write what i feel and if i i have no idea if No, nothing comes in my mind and I search it online also. So a lot of online books and by reading them, then I can make it. Yeah, self-learning. So yeah. what genre do you write most? Like poetry? Yes, you're most on poetry, right? Most. What genre do you write most? I have no specific genre, genre. If what because i always based on your daily prompt your ideas mm-hmm. from daily prompt before and now i i don't write specifically if if what comes in my mind what uh, what do i need what i need to what's what's in my feelings just now today then i i want to write it then i just write it like that no it's specific mm-hmm. Because as I can see, also you are more on like poetry. Um, have you ever tried writing a prose or any 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 other uh, types of um, any other types, any other form of literature or writing? Mm, not not at all. Only when. Cinderella's Angel started, then I just learned from them, and I, and now I'm just learning some just now. Uh, they are teaching, but I didn't cooperate. I didn't participate. It. They they say goodbye now. <laughs> they they I'm learning, and our topic here. They said don't say it in public, but this is new. This is new for me. Then maybe hopefully I can learn something from them. That's very great. That's very yes. great that you are. You are. I'm so sorry that <laughs> they they said goodbye and you are still on live. <laughs> yes, and they know. They they know. <laughs> At least you inform them. Okay, I love that authentic authenticity is always beautiful. Eileen May is real. She is who she mm-hmm. is. Thank you, Sis Elsie. <clears throat> okay. You have one more here. Another one, I mean. If you will to talk to yourself in front of a mirror, what would you want to tell her? Be better. Be better. That's, that's every morning. I always tell that. Because of our morning rituals, I keep on doing it. My affirmation every day, be better. I won't change that. <laughs> Until okay. I can I can prove myself that I am better. To whom are you proving yourself? To myself. I want I, I need to prove myself that I am better. Okay, this is from Israel Maa. When did you first realize that you wanted to be a writer? I am Fris. Mm, not at all, Ateria. I... You never thought that you are a writer or you never realized that? I never, I never thought. Realize that I am here, that I will be here 
with you in this poetry community. No, I I never expect that I will be included in here, but um in every, in my everyday in my life journey with being with you all, I can see myself loving it and I want to try my best also if I have a chance, if I have I will be given a chance to be a writer, just maybe hopefully Tiger Moth Tiger Moth is the start for me. New start, good start for 2021. Hopefully, but I am not I'm not aiming for for uh, you should aim <laughs> you should no, aim for it i i will aim but i want i don't want to expect much i will just do it go to the flow but never expect too much goal setting <laughs> yeah <laughs> is it one of your goal to be a better writer so um if it is one of your goal and your 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 steps to fulfill that goals is to to start um start um getting engaged into new learning. That's really it's like a it's it's a I'm little starting. light little yeah yes. Yeah, so I'm you starting. are starting you you are on that um you are choosing to learn because you have something in your you have something you want to see something in yourself. So perhaps. You might not be able to realize yet that you are on that or you are on that um I still can uh, yeah. wake yourself up. <laughs> okay. Yes. In your um in, in the previous um uh, I mean the past years, um have you ever thought of becoming a writer or have you ever thought of getting yourself involved into this um into this kind of um activities? Did you ever think about it or not? I'm just imagining. I'm just imagining myself to be a writer, being every day keep on writing and some of my writings thrown away. And I, I, I love writing. And even there's no meaning on it. Even, even sometimes I feel one of my written composition has no meaning but I just keep on writing and if I cannot form a poem on it then for some quotes and I always share it in the community in my Facebook <sighs> my legs <Thank> is <laughs> <laughs> okay so it, it's just uh, it's just um a word for you that um maybe you you really don't you really don't um see things in on a bigger bigger um bigger view but um maybe you can start about thinking what do you want to become or what how how do you want to see yourself maybe two years three years five years from now so maybe it will help you to like Feel the um, feel the <laughs> intensity or the desire to become a to become or um to become someone someone that yes. I'm not really referring it to like a very famous like that but it's like to to write something that uh, that that is really um meaningful or something something that you really wanted to do you really wanted to 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 um to be so because even me before i feel like i just write i just keep on writing i just keep on uh, not nothing really nothing in my mind but then um eventually i feel like i have to i have to set something about myself or what do i really want to happen what do i really want to do what do I want to do with this kind of writings? Like, is this just an expression only for myself, or do I want to uh, do I want to send a message to everyone, or what do I want people to feel when they they are reading my own compositions like that? So start um start with that um, kind of um, 
thing. So, okay. Yeah. But I know. And I know that um, Tiger Moth is just the beginning of a bigger opportunity for you, especially now that you are. I can, I can really see the passion in you. Okay. Happy to see you, dear. Even I'm late. <laughs> you are not late. Okay, we are going to find any more. Okay. Nemino said, you are learning also about narrative writing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> with, with her. Both of us. So that, that's one of the genre uh, Rema, uh, Miss Rema was talking about. So, But you are still learning about it. So, okay. Maybe one day you could share it with us. <laughs> okay, we have one more here. Can you share one of the most surprising things you learned in writing poetry? Surprising thing. Yes. It's like you really look so surprised <laughs> about the question. Yeah. <laughs> Can you share one of the most surprising things? I am surprised with all the lessons I'm learning, especially with this, uh, the personification. Mm -hmm. No, the mm -hmm. personification last, uh, last week, I am really surprised with the idea when I read the lesson. And though I am struggling, I'm struggling to write, and I still not manage to, to correct those, um, those correct, this rewriting. And that surprised me when you, you pers, you personific, personifies, personifies some, some, some object. And mm -hmm. yeah, that, that surprised me also. And then when and at the at the last hour, I find myself looking in the mirror. That's how I I write it. And with all, with all, of course, with the help of some online reading also. Yes, thank you, Andrea. You always surprise uh, surprise me with all the le lessons. Yes, yes, and. You know that uh, one thing I realized when we started uh, learning with the, with the other angels, like some of our poems follow, mm -hmm. um, use some of the poetic devices, but we are not aware that we are doing that or we are using that. So it's like, wow, I've been using line break before. I've been using this yeah. and that, but I didn't know that. <laughs> but uh, I've been I, using I, all I, those. I am trying to write a new one. I uh, because uh, I don't want to take my old writings and then and mm -hmm. put it in our, our lesson because uh, I know that those are not perfect. Uh, maybe not perfect for a good a perfect writer, but I want to reserve it as my beginners. Uh, I write mm -hmm. that one. Mm -hmm. I still no nothing just that's my yes. <laughs> yeah yeah and what i meant is like because we 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 are not aware of this um with this um poetic devices or these learnings before it's like we have been using this with our with other of our first writings and you i just feel amazed that um this is really something that we are very grateful to to these two beautiful um these wonderful women that they are spending their time for us to introduce to us all these things and yeah, all, even though we've been we've been uh, studying this during high school or college but of course uh it didn't stay aware of it so yes we didn't stay in our bank of memories, but it really feels good that now we are being refreshed. <laughs> we are being refreshed of, of, of all these uh, of all these things, and it's really very very helpful. So, okay, 
since I cannot see any more comments from here, okay, I have um, I have two major questions for you. So, major, wow. Major. So you better prepare yourself. Okay, what are the learnings you've got from two thousand twenty? I become more strong because uh, like what I said, I am so weak. I am very weak, way back, and easy hurt. I, I am so sensitive. I get hurt so easily, but um, I find myself being more positive now, more eager now and honestly when you ask me to guess tonight I start I started to think is this really what I want I when the moment you ask me you send me message that I, I if I can be joining you tonight then my question pop up in my mind is is this really something that I really want to just like what I what you said uh, goal setting <laughs> I always th- this week I always think of it that's why I, I cannot create new I, I cannot write a new poem to be read here tonight because I always think I don't know if I love this one I want to pursue but like what you said I want to see myself more in bigger side of poetry world. And yes, I want to try something new. And be from being so weak last year, so many challenges, so many experience, bad experience, I can say that because I, I have a lot of bad experience in my family, my everything, people around me, my, of course, my work. And I am better. I, I am being better now. I'm not yet better, but I am. I am being better now. Yes, I hope to be more, more and more and more better in the in this year, and to reach my goals that I set during my day or the dream class. It's. By the end of the year, I will be free, and my goal, I can, I can reach my goal by this year. And I truly hope that this is something that you really want by heart. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, I do hope so. Yes, because um, it always matters that you like or you love what you are doing. So that you can feel satisfaction out of out of everything or out of something that you are doing because if you are not feeling happy or if you are feeling forced to do things that is really not um not, not according to your own will then it will be like um there's no sense there's really no yeah. sense yes and um, yeah you have to feel you have to you have to feel it by heart. If you re, you are you really happy with what you are doing? So okay, we have one more here. We have one question here. Okay, let let's put on the screen one of the question here. How is the feeling of your work being published, though online? Does it help in a way to believe that you have the capacity? capability and capacity to be called a writer. Thank you, Ate. I, until now, uh, I received the email last, is it November or December? I don't remember, but I think it's early December when I received a res- reply from them that they approved my two poems. And I really can't believe the time. And this week, when I see, when I see the online, I mean, I read those. When I read it, 
<laughs> I don't know. I can't. I can't explain how I felt, but it really amazed me. And my question is: Is this is this really me? Is this re- did I really write this one? And I and like what I said. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so happy until now. I don't know. I don't know. I can explain. I can explain what I really felt because this is my first time and. Yes, I don't know what to say. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, because uh, they appreciate what I write. Though uh, her name is uh, the one who sent me an email is Esther, editor in chief. They appreciate that that two poems I written from my heart. So it's really overwhelming. The feelings is very different. So I'm so happy and I am very, very proud of myself. But yes, maybe, hopefully. And I really hope that it will, it will, um, it will, it will fuel you up more to do something. And I am trying I now. You will believe. You will believe yeah. that you have the capacity and capability, because tiger moth is not just tiger moth. Okay, tiger yeah. moth is tiger moth. So, um, it's something that you really should be proud about yourself. And that's what I've told you. It's time to flaunt all those achievements that you have. You have gained and those learnings that you that you have. And yeah. I'm Sometimes. still floating in the air about that. <laughs> so proud. Yeah, I'm so proud of myself. That's what you uh, should all I can say. Thank you so much for that. And thank you so much, Ate Rolinda. And my last question for you is, um, what are your plans? What are your goals about 2021? On 2021, this year, what are your goals for this year? I think to improve to improve my writing skills and I have really a like I have really a one top priority goal and I am hoping I am wishing to finish it this by the end of the year to be free from all the reasons why I the reason why I feel depressed last year I, that's my focus this year. I want to free myself from that obligation and to, for me to keep moving forward without any, without not thinking of anything behind me. I want to free myself with that obligation. And that's my top goal this year. And in writing, also, i uh, of course, I love writing and I want to improve myself more. And yes, I want to improve myself more. And I hope I will do better. And yeah, that's my goal this 2021. I know you can do it. You can do it. And I can. You can. You can. And okay. Um, Thank you so much for, for answering all those. And um, before we end this live, do you have any message to, to all the viewers, to all the migrant communities or our migrants, fellow migrants, that um, it's either about writing or about managing their emotions during this difficult time? What message you can give it to them? What message you can give to them? Keep your passion alive. If you think your passion is in writing or in arts, because uh, uh, yes, just keep on, keep your passion alive. And every, I myself, uh, I, I, I have a lot of struggles in life. And any struggles, any challenges you are facing right now, Think positive and time will come. We all, we can do better and all the challenges will make the challenges 
be an instrument to reach your goals and stay away from all negativities keep your passion alive that's all i can say just keep your passion alive be positive thank you so much Emily. thank you so much for that thank very you. wonderful wonderful message and thank you so much for joining us as much as i wanted to um to stay on the screen with you but um it's getting late so um thank you say goodbye to everyone and on behalf of the migrant writers of singapore thank you so much eileen from hong kong for um for always uh supporting us especially our activities and i uh, yes for always being there not just uh, not just a uh, sister uh, but you are truly truly a very great person one of the great women that i've known in this community and I'm so much thankful that uh, I, I've known you in this community and continue to move forward with all those positive insights, with all those positive um, um, outlook in life. Be optimistic and always focus yourself on the things that can help you to get better, be better. And be better. I wish you all the best. Yes, I wish you all the best. And thank you so much. See you around in the community. <laughs> and yes, do you have any activities to promote? You have oh, something tomorrow. 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 And yes, and everyone, if you have time, I know it's your holiday tomorrow, but if you have time, we have a live protest also hosted by this amazing lady in Uplifters community around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, one hour, one hour, 2 to 3 p.m. in the afternoon. See you all in Uplifters community. Yeah. I will it's be there again. It's a poetry and musical. Yes, it's a poetry <laughs> and musical bonding. And I'm very excited to see you all performing there. And yeah, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow on Uplifters Connect. And thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much for all those who are um, who stayed with us and share their questions, their comments, and all the viewers. Thank you so much for um, for watching. And um, without you all, uh, poetry reading series will not be as um, as beautiful as this one. And thank you so much, everyone. We do appreciate all your support and. Please um, continue to support our activities. It's Arts in Me uh, group. And have a good night, everyone. And thank you so much once again, Eileen. Have a great thank night. Bye-bye. Good night. <laughs>